make and super easy. But anyways, let's just get started. So the first craft I'm going to be making is a pumpkin banner. And this is a super easy and cute banner to hang around your house. But you will need pumpkin cutouts, thermal laminated pouches, laminator, black string or ribbon, hole puncher, and scissors. Now for this project, the first step is to cut out your pumpkins, but this is just a little disclaimer. I got these pumpkins from a website I was inspired by, so I'll link her blog down below where I got these pumpkins and the idea from. And also for the laminator, you do not need to laminate these pumpkins if you don't want to or if you don't have a laminator. I just did because I had one and it would last longer. But after that, I stuck the pumpkin cutouts into the laminating sheets and then put it into the laminator. And after all of them are laminated, I just cut them out, making sure I didn't get too close to the pumpkin. Then the third step is to take your hole puncher and punch a hole on each side of the pumpkin, like so. And then you're going to lay all your pumpkins out in front of your window to see how much you need and string it through the back and forward, like how I'm doing it now. And you want to make sure there's a little space for the ribbon so it's not just a bunch of pumpkins stuck together. Then I just taped my pumpkin banner up on the window and there's the final look. So the second DIY is a spider web trash bags. What you will need for this is trash bags, tape, and scissors. First step is to cut out the edges of the trash bag so the front and the back of the trash bags are not connected. And you want to cut out the edges on all the sides so you'll need to do this four times. And then I just took my scissors and cut right into the middle of the trash bag where there's a crease, making the trash bag into two squares. And then I just took one square and folded it as a triangle like so. And then I also did that two more times After that, I took some tape and taped the edges of where the trash bags came together so when you're cutting through them, they don't slip and you mess up your project. After all the tape's done, I'm taking my Sharpie marker and drawing a straight line through the entire trash bag. And you want to make a design that looks like a spider web, so you're gonna do these curvy half circles. 
and just follow the pattern that I'm showing you now. Then after that, I'm taking my scissors and cutting out the spaces where I did not draw a line with the Sharpie marker. Make sure you do this very carefully because you do not want to cut in the middle and cut through the entire spider web. And then once you're done cutting, you're going to take your spire, your triangle and unfold it. I'm taping all the tape if there is still tape left. And be very careful not to rip anything. If there are some pieces that you accidentally cut off, I just put that in the corner of the window, the part where you won't see it. And then the rest can just dangle and it's super easy, super affordable. All you need is trash bags basically and super cute. So the third and last DIY is the mummy mason jar. What you will need is a mason jar, bandage roll, googly eyes, a brown marker, scissors, battery operated tea light candle, and a hot glue gun. So the first step I'm doing is taking my bandage rolls out of the packet and laying it on the counter. my ruler and my marker and making a line on the bandage at about two inches where I will cut the bandage in half and I just estimated how long my bandages would be my mason jar that I got was actually a small mason jar so I didn't need a whole lot of bandages for this but I compared my bandage to the mason jar and it looked a little bit chunkier than it should be so I cut that in half as well so I got four pieces of bandages And then I just cut all those off and took my hot glue gun and put some glue on the edges of the bandage roll. And then I attached that to the bottom of the mason jar and wrapped it up like a mummy. Make sure you overlap some of the bandages so it doesn't look like a straight piece of bandage roll on it and so it looks more like a mummy. And I just did this to each bandage, wrapping it around, hot gluing it, and even getting it on the cap of the mason jar because you don't need the lid of it.
And then I took my googly eyes and grab two for the mummy's eyes, of course. And you're just going to be put, applying hot glue on them. The first eye, I kind of dropped it. And for the first eye, I just put the bandage a little over the bottom of it. Just took the other eye and placed that on as well. Then I took my brown marker and lightly highlighted the edges of the bandage wraps and make sure this is faint but also you can see it. So it looks like the mummy's bandage wraps are old and then the last step is to put your candle in and you're done. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all these DIYs. Make sure to thumbs this video up if you love seeing DIYs. And I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye.